Uh, good morning. God forgive you once again at the Fear for You Marriott in the JFK Airport vicinity, uh, New York. Uh, we took a, a short break because uh, our, our marker was was acting up. We have returned and say, let's suppose now we took one of these uh, three by three period matrix and let's do uh, a circuitry that will probably uh, correspond to one of these uh, matrix. Uh, we generate some uh, different parameters uh, from these paid parameters and uh, let's say you know that this is a uh, this has a, a resistance corresponding to no, 10 kilo ohms for simplicity this resistance R2 Five kilo ohms. This resistant R three. Five kilo ohms. Notice we could say zero five to maintain our paired uh, numericals. This is ten. This is five. This could be zero five and zero five. Uh, R1 here equals 10 kilo ohms and a corresponding current going in a clockwise direction, we call it IA. This voltage is uh, say 50 volts. B going again in the clockwise direction that's ten kilo ohms. <coughs> Or like me that this spot is not too uh, beautiful. But we have R3 10 kilo ohms, R2 5 kilo ohms, IA clockwise direction, 15 volts there, IB in the clockwise direction once more, and this is equal to 10 kilo ohms. Now Take the same mesh, you know. We'd have to know that V1 plus V2 equals 15 volts. And V2 plus V3 equals V4. If we simplify the mesh, or simplify the elements, we'll have now 10 kilo ohms plus 
five kilo ohms, zero minus five kilo ohms. All right, if we had these uh, elements, you could say 50, 10 plus 5, that would give us 50. Let's just put this up here. This would be 0, it's taking 0, 0. And this would be 0, 0. This would be 0, 5. So this would be the resistance uh, <coughs> matrix, and we know that from uh, Kirchhoff current and voltage law, we could say though and Ohm's law that V is equal to IR or <coughs> V equal to IR or that R I equals V, setting us in R I equals V, V equals IR, or resistance time current equals voltage. This is the, the resistances, and so the, the, the current which is adjacent to it would be the corresponding current here, and then we uh, have the voltage. And we can use a matrix software you know, to solve, and we could solve, and what we'll get here is that IA, use a matrix software, is equal to minus 10 uh, milliamps IB and I see This is getting a bit congested here. Uh, <coughs> but what are we are saying now, if we use these parameters, and if we work a uh, reverse fashion, we would uh, get a similar circuitry looking like this, and which will result in a tree by tree period matrices. We could solve if these were resistances uh, for current and voltage, depending on which one is the unknown. So, we, if we have the, the 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 current as the unknown, then we will say that, that V is equal to I R, or that I R, or that R I is equal to V, with a corresponding R three period matrix, 
and I is unknown and V, or vice versa, if we say no, that I is equal to V upon R, they would have a R transpose, uh, R is equal to V upon I, they will have a uh, which one is the unknown here? If voltage is unknown, then we'll have know that V equals IR. If current is unknown, we could say that, that I is equal to V upon R. And if resistance is unknown, then we say know that R from V equals IR, R equals V upon I, or I equals V upon R. That's just basic uh, algebra. From V equals IR, we say though that I is equal to V upon R, or that R is equal to V upon I. Nevertheless, we're saying that uh, we could, from all these three by three pair matrix, we could have uh, the, the elements they use as resistances, and we could calculate uh, current and voltages using this model circuitry setup and solve for current or voltages, or vice versa, solve for. The unknown, whichever is the unknown. We'll take a break here and then we'll come back and set up some more simpler circuit using the two by twos. And uh, from thence, we'll uh, continue. In the latter end, I want to uh, return back to my SLS outputs. I, uh, SLS. Uh, DLS outputs. So we'll also generate some SLS DLS outputs. <laughs> 